We have a lot of our service hashed out now. We're going to move forward and start working on the users section. Since this is going to be the CRUD style application, we're going to create, read, update, and delete users without the whole backend part. We'll do that in a whole nother course. We'll do the entire stack. Right now, we want to focus on how we can get all of that information from our fake API. To start doing that, we're going to create a users component to start off our entire user section of the site. Under app, we'll create a new folder called users. Under here, we'll create a new file, users.component.ts, and a new file next to that called users.component.html. Let's start working on our users component. I have a handy plugin here that will go ahead and do snippets for us, ng2 component, and that will go ahead and get all of the information for our component. Let's delete all that, template URL, app users users.component.html. Now the reason I didn't add a selector here is because in the next lesson we're going to start using routing. Actually, we'll go ahead and add it here, but just take note that it's not necessary since this information will be injected through the router outlet. It's good practice to prefix your components with a good prefix for your application so that it doesn't conflict with any other components that you might bring into your app. And we'll name this users component. In users component HTML, I am the users component. Now that we have a new component, we need to register it with app module. and bring it down into declarations. All right, we have that. We have our users component. Now we can actually see if it works and use it in app component. Let's go into here and right at the very top, we'll just say my users. Let's go take a look at our app to see if our application works and we are showing an error. Let's go take a look at what's going on there. It looks like users user component is not found and that's because this is supposed to be plural. All right, that's an S there. Let's take a look. We have our users component hanging out right above our application, right where we want it. Let's take this a step further. We're going to actually use the user service in that users component. That's going to be a good start for our user section. Let's lay the groundwork for the next couple sections that we're going to do. Since we are doing a CRUD style application, we will need to list all users, which is the read part. We're going to need to create a user, we'll need to edit a user, and we'll need to delete a user. We're going to create some folders here. We'll have new folder, user create, user edit, Oh, we want it here, user list. And also, we'll have a route for just showing a single user, which will be user single. Now that's going to be the groundwork for our entire user section. In the next lesson, we're going to route that user section, and then we'll start working our way through the different folders and building out each component and part of the service.